Today I want to show you how to paint ripples in a lake on a background in your acrylic portrait. Hi, I'm working on this 20 by 24 acrylic portrait and I'm going to be putting in some ripples uh, in the reflection of this tree line in the lake here. And I'm going to start off by adding some titanium white. So let's zoom right in here. And we're going to take some titanium white with a 10 aught brush. I'm using a very small brush, dipping it into some matte medium. And that just makes it a little more fluid. And I want to show you also what's going on in the reference photo. So this is the reference photo. And again, these are the little ripples I'm trying to um, render here in my painting. These ripples taking place in the reflection here of this tree line. Now let's go back to the painting. All right, so again, titanium white, a little bit of matte medium, and I have just a hint of Indian yellow in this color just so it's not stark white and maybe I'll add just a little bit of this green now I have a little um, Indian yellow or actually I think it's uh, azo yellow and a bit of phthalo blue just to make the color not quite pure white and then we'll add this in here and I can add a little more white to it if I need to to make it somewhat more opaque and we're going to put in these little lines. Now, you want to make sure that you don't have these lines spaced evenly. So that's important. Um, you want them to be at random intervals. And you'll be tempted to space them evenly, but don't do that. Because if you do, it's going to really lessen the realism. So... I'm going to bring in these lines. Some are closer together, some are a little farther apart. We'll have a few skip a couple of areas. Um, and I dab the edges just to soften it up so it's not too stark of a contrast. Let's just bring this in a little closer. I have some lines a little thicker, some thinner, and again, some closer together. Now I can come back in actually then and use the green color of the tree line and I can also break it up that way as well. Okay, that's good. And let's move on over to the left a little bit. All right, we're gonna add some reflections here. Yeah, we'll just use a little more, a little more contrast, bit of a stronger, more opaque version of the white. And again, we can go both ways, and we can also use some of the greenish color, which I, I believe I'll do next after this, and we'll kind of break things up that way as well. Now. Let's go ahead and take some Azo Yellow and we're going to add it to uh, this mix here. So Azo Yellow right on top of the Titanium White. And then we'll take that color and we're going to put that over on top with just a little bit of Thalo Blue. Okay, and that color we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we need to get a little more saturated with the color. A little more azo yellow. Okay, and we're gonna take that color and we're gonna go over on top of this tree line a little bit. Now I'm just gonna make it a little more translucent, adding some more matte medium. And with this then, we can go ahead and add some of these lines here. Let's see how we just drop that in. All right, we'll add a couple spots over here as well. So we're just 
putting in some little suggestions. And it's nice to do kind of these little zigzag lines. Let's move over here. Uh, zigzag lines like that. And we just kind of flow it over that way. All right, and we'll add a couple of little zigzag lines here. So they're kind of like little curly cues. And it's just adding some rippled texture going a little bit further away. Now, as we get closer and closer to the edge up here, we'd imagine these, these ripples would get thinner and thinner and closer together. So instead of painting every, every little ripple, they'll just kind of disappear as they get further up. So we don't want these ripples to go uh, too far up the mark. The reason we can see them here is because they're a little closer to us, but by that horizon line up there, um, they're much, much smaller and therefore we won't even paint them at all. Because a lot of times, you know, artists can try to put in tons of detail to make things look more realistic, but actually the opposite occurs. Uh, they end up making things look less realistic by putting in uh, too much detail. So you don't want to overdo the detail. Uh, now we can take the same color and we can fan it out and disperse it. That's what we want to do, disperse that color into the water. Um, so we added some white, brought some white ripples into the tree line, the reflection of the tree line. Now we're going to do the converse. We're going to bring some of these greenish ripples into the larger body of white. So let's do that. And I guess that color is too light. So we're gonna, we're gonna add some um, phthalo blue to this and maybe just a hint of raw sienna just so that the color gets a little more earthy. And not too, not too uh, greenish like mint green. Okay, and we bring this color out and just kind of disperse it out a little bit. So you should be able to see that as I move the camera over. Yeah, I really don't do a lot of video editing on these videos. My goal is just to spend most of my time painting and teaching and putting out some excellent videos for you, but uh, you'll just have to please excuse me if I don't have <laughs> all the editing in here um, where I crop out any of the bad shots or take out any outtakes. So if I misspeak or I just have something missing, it's just gonna end up being in the video, at least at this point. Maybe I'll do more editing in the future, um, but at this point, this is what I can do. All right, well, so we add a couple of these ripples right here. And um, here we go, ripples there. And let's see, we're gonna bring this out a little further. So we have a darker area. Let's add just a little bit of ultramarine blue and some raw sienna. And we'll just get a little bit of a darker tint on this green here. I might grab though a little more as of yellow. Okay, so we'll put that on the bottom. And just to show, yeah, we can have a little area where it skips, where that tree line comes down. All right, and I think that's good. We can keep it pretty subtle. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to just stand in your face. We just have a subtle effect of some um, ripples in the water. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just add a little more, like a couple pieces that kind of tail down right here and break them up a little bit. But I don't want to overdo it. That'll be good for now. And so I hope, hope this video helped. I hope it uh, gave you a little bit of clarity here on what to do um, in your own painting. If you should come across having to paint this in a portrait or even if you're doing a landscape, um, how do you paint ripples in a lake? Especially when you have something reflected like a tree line or a boat or whatever. Um, so if this video helped, would you help me out as well and give me a thumbs up. That's going to help this video to be seen by more people on YouTube. 
uh, subscribe to this channel as well so you get notified when I do new videos. Um, hit that notification bell, of course, and when I have a new video that I upload, you'll be the first one to be able to watch it. And share this video with your friends. And then finally, leave a comment and uh, let me know how you would like to use this technique in your painting. And uh, if you have any questions about acrylic portrait painting in general, please let me know. All right, so thank you so much for watching. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.